Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Osama and the panelists for this introduction. Uh, let me start. My title is New Connections, sharing my experience as a Fulbright visiting scholar. And the word connections is really a very important word here in this context. Uh, my project title was Gender in Selected American and Arab Texts, an Intermediate Approach. And I was affiliated to the Institute for Research on Women, Gender, and Sexuality at Columbia University in New York City. Actually, this was my second postdoctoral Fulbright grant, the first time I also did uh, African American theater also at Columbia University. So it was really interesting because everybody was telling me this was the year to study gender in the States. If you want to study gender, this was the year. Actually, my research project focused on intermediality, which is an interdisciplinary field of research that explores the relationship between text, image, sound, and music. It's been going on for like 20 years or so, and it has become really very dominant because of the pictorial age we live in. My research examined actually four texts, two American and two Arab, and I researched the interplay between the visual and the uh, verbal as a significant strategy to explore gender issues. Gender was a very key uh, uh, component of those texts. And what I did was really explore the interaction between the text and the image. Uh, indeed, Columbia University and the Institute for Research on Women, Gender, and Sexuality was very appropriate because of their a, a, a very good uh, program on gender and also the interdisciplinarity of the program. I also had lots of professional activities that really complemented my research work. One important thing I took part in and established actually what we call the Gender Studies Network. I met many, many people from all over New York City, actually the greater New York area, and we established something called the Gender uh, studies network and we're still in touch up to now. We used to meet in different places and actually this was the culmination of our meetings with a panel on gender and the title of the panel was Global Perspectives on Gender, Brazil, China, Egypt and India. We were four participants from the four countries and we talked about gender issues in our countries. I contributed uh, a well-attended, I have to say, I'm happy to say that, a well-attended session on women's activism in Egypt. Uh, you might see in the picture, if you can see it, crutches. Uh, actually, I also had the sad uh, uh, thing of breaking my leg, going all over New York City and slipping and breaking my leg. It was fractured and I was in crutches for one month and a half, but it didn't really keep me from doing uh, some uh, research and doing some activities. But as you can see, I have the crutches over there. Yeah, it, it was sad, but... So Gender Studies Network was a wonderful idea because I met many, many colleagues from different places, from all over the world, actually, not only the States. Another excellent program I took part in is the Fulbright Outreach Lecturing Fund. This is an excellent program where the Fulbright provides funding for campuses, to host scholars for short-term engagements. I, you know, you write to campuses and you propose topics. I was accepted at Fisher College in Boston. This is a small college, but uh, uh, very multi-ethnic, very multinational. And I went to Boston and I gave two uh, uh, talks. It was such an interesting opportunity because the talks included, you know, staff, students, and you also had to spend some time with the professors. As you can see, I still had the crutches. So that was, again, the time where I had the crutches, but I could go to Boston by train. Sadly, I was also accepted to give a presentation through the same program in the U.S. Virgin Islands, but I had to take a plane, and I was, I was advised not to take a plane because it would be dangerous. So, again, a wonderful professional activity that I was engaged in. Conferences and talks. I tried very much to attend conferences, seminars, workshops, contribute as much as possible. One interesting uh, 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 conference I attended in California was the FAMLA, Pacific and Ancient Modern Language Association. It was in Pasadena, California. 
a great conference, and actually I was presenting not on gender or literature, on another passion of mine, which is civic education and promoting civic engagement among our students. Again, it was an interesting chance to meet people from everywhere. I also gave uh, a talk about Egyptian literature of the two revolutions at Columbia's uh, English and Comparative Literature Department. Again, another interesting activity was the Fulbright Enrichment Seminar. The Fulbright every year organizes like three or four seminars with different topics. The one I selected was interesting, the New South Visions, Voices and Change Asians. It took place in Alabama, in Montgomery, Alabama. And if you are familiar with the US history, this is an area where there's a lot of history going place. It, 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 it was really very rich, culturally and professionally. It was such a rich uh, experience. And uh, uh, we went everywhere, we had speakers, we uh, came to visit lots of places, and it was an exciting also opportunity. And particularly interesting to me because, again, my previous Fulbright grant was African American theater. And this was really very much relevant to some of my previous research. I also took part in events in New York and the New York greater area. The uh, International Institute for Education in New York City uh, uh, organized a community day for researchers. And I was invited to give a talk about my experience. It was again professionally rewarding because I came to meet younger people. MAs and PhDs, people who are doing research. We are called scholars, they are called researchers. So it was wonderful uh, listening to lots of interesting people talking about their very ambitious research plans. It was a lovely day and it also ended, you know, uh, with professional networking. Again, an interesting experience. I also took part in voluntary work. I did lots of voluntary work with older people at schools, but one particular uh, uh, program that I volunteered in was called the Global Classroom Program. This is a program where international scholars give workshops to students of New York school uh, children. I gave two workshops, and usually they focus on uh, you know, cross-cultural themes, global issues. I gave two workshops, one of them for a, 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 a school, a high school in Brooklyn. That was not very challenging because I teach university students. These were almost the same age. The really challenging bit was the Bronx middle school where I had to teach kids, look at this kid, the age between 11 to 13. It was really challenging. I've never taught that age, but it was such a humanizing experience. And I talked about women and girls in Egypt. With the Bushwick School, I talked about graffiti of the Egyptian Revolution. The topic was investigating conflict. A very humanizing experience. I came across people, I looked at schools, I, I learned more about the American educational system. This is one final slide. I also took to the streets. I took part in many rallies. One interesting thing was the International Women's Day Rally. You know, it's all about gender, and it was really lots of activities highlighted there. And you could see uh, uh, wearing my uh, uh, pain uh, resist. Uh, this is what I want to end with, a medley of interesting activities, theater, opera, uh, tours, learning even how to sail a boat, picking apples, the ballet, being hosted by families. I learned so much from that. I did not only learn from Columbia University, even though this is an excellent research facility. I learned also more from the interactions. And I think the human understanding, the friendships I made over there will be of enduring value. Thank you very much.